Sayyid Ali Raza Shah. Mashallah, mashallah. And where are you from today? Where are you from? Uh, I've come from Bolton, Greater Manchester. I'm going to be doing Qasida, Noha, and uh, mainly Qasidas and uh, Mankwata and stuff. I'm just going to try to, you know, do my best and leave everything on my Imam, man. And uh, that's, uh, that's the main thing that I'm here to take part, to save my Imam. So if the judges likes me, hopefully it's even better. Sayyid Ali Raza, how are you feeling? I'm very well, thank you. Feeling great, bro. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And um, mashallah, I heard a little bit of your recitation beforehand. Yeah. Uh, mashallah, you've got a great voice. What did you do to prepare to come here today? Bro, I've been practicing, alhamdulillah, a lot. So, you know, I'm definitely ready for this. Let's get it done. <laughs> Let's get it done. Love that, love that. Well, we'll see how your performance goes. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. How are you, Said Ali? Alhamdulillah, very well. Thank you. You're okay. I was reading about you and you've been reciting in uh, Bolton for the last 17 years. It's just Every whenever, Muharram. There's, yeah, whenever there's Muharram, I've been given my duties. Any reason why only Bolton? Why not across the world? Because I think Bolton needs me more. So I like to stay there and decide there. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, because they have less nohahan, so you know, every time it's like Muharram. It does say we that just you're be there and you're you know, a full time do our best duties, yeah. Sorry? It says you're a full time traveler, so you're traveling reciting nohas? Mm, or just just no. that's what you like to do. No, I'm, I wouldn't I'll just stay in Bolton every Muharram because okay. there's two Imam Bargas. So whenever whoever calls me, I just go and help okay. out. Yeah. All right, brilliant. And Can you give us the context uh, of what you're reciting tonight? Today I'm going to be reciting a mankabat and uh, it's by Tasawar Abbas Tashna. Oh, that's a hard, it's it's be a hard one. Yeah, okay, okay. mashallah. We'll welcome you with a loud salawat. Thank you. I was quite con confident, I'll say. I wasn't too nervous and uh, the guys uh, at the backstage made me feel even better, you know, being friendly. So it was quite easy, man. I wasn't really, I wouldn't say I was nervous, but uh, obviously as I got to the lights and everything, it was a bit different. Husaniyat, Husaniyat, Yazidiyat, Yazidiyat, Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Bulantar Salawa. لحد میں ہم کو جگایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر لحد میں ہم کو جگایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر ویلا کا جام پلایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر لہد میں ہم کو جگایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر سوال پوچھا گیا کون ہے امام تیرا سوال پوچھا گیا کون ہے امام تیرا کفن ہٹا کے بتایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر جیو جیو 
لہد میں ہم کو جگایا ہے یا یلی کہہ کر علم کو تھام کے چلنا کوئی مذاق نہیں علم کو تھام کے چلنا کوئی مذاق نہیں علم کو ہم نے اٹھایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر لہد میں ہم کو جگایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر قدم اٹھائے تو بس سامنے تھر شبری قدم اٹھائے تو بس سامنے تھر شبری کہ ماں نے چلنا سکھایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر لہد میں ہم کو جگایا ہے یا علی کہہ کر I'm just going to say that this is a message to all the people that are watching out there. Definitely, guys, take part in Shia Voice. It's one of the best platforms. And uh, it gets us Shias together, which we normally uh, only happens on Majalis. And this is one of the uh, programs where you can uh, find new talent. Thank you. Very, very good performance. Well done. Ahsan Tom Sayedna. Say, Mason, can I go to you first? I think I heard you wanted him to do something else. No, no. I, I'm thinking if he does something on the rhythm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A... <laughs> can we define you know, you said the, the 17 whole years, yeah? rhythm thing? Because the, I, sometimes they're not getting it. So let's just be very, very clear with what, what we mean by the rhythm thing so that they can get it. Unless no, he knows I know straight her. away. I know her. Not mantabat only. Sorry? I know her. Uh, know her right now? Just one, yeah, one sentence even. One sentence? Yes. Can I just pull my phone out now? Astai Sani Antra. Habibi, do what you like. Bhai chal diye surkh haneri Kyun rab jane na na Bhai chal diye surkh haneri Kyun rab jane na na کل رات دے میں نواں کل رات دے میں نواں ہائے خواب ڈرانے نا نا پئی چل دی سرخ ہنیری کیوں رب جانے نا نا ماشاء اللہ ماشاء اللہ محمد Uh, okay, um, uh, no problem. I can start. Uh, uh, Sayyid, yeah, Sayyid Ali Rida. Are you Sayyid Ali Rida? Yeah? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not wrong, yeah? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Sayyid, look, I believe that one of the reasons your recitation is flat mm-hmm. because you are not going to any other majlis, to test any other majlis, to get mm-hmm. experience. Mm-hmm. Now you are in Shia voice. I'm mm-hmm. saying, inshallah, after this, you will be, inshallah, Uh, known more and people will um, invite you and okay. you must be dedicated uh, talent is nothing without uh, dedication and discipline and dedication and discipline is a talent in itself mm-hmm. so try to test accept if they uh, uh, if they um, uh, invite you 
-hmm. Accept and go get experience. Don't mm -hmm. say, Habibi, this is my, my, my place. This is my mm -hmm. Bolton. Uh, uh, Habibi, forget this. Be a star. You are mm -hmm. a star now. Mm -hmm. You can't be better than this, Habibi. You mm -hmm. don't ha just, you, 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 you don't have exper enough experience, I can say, mm -hmm. from other majalis. Okay. That's okay. it. Okay. Great. Fair enough. Fair enough. Say Mason. Anyone? I think this episode is following a certain theme. I don't agree it was flat. If you can point out where it was flat, I would like to know. Mullah Nazar. Baba. No, no. Point out it, it wasn't flat. I'm, I'm saying it's, it's fine, yeah, but it's still he can't, what yeah. he has, the row of the voice, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the essence of the, vo of the voice, he, ha he can't make more than this. From his recitation, it seems like he's very well versed. Uh, in, uh, uh, can I add something? Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I say, for example, your, your, your voice was flat, I'm not comparing you, Are you talking with, about the previous, the with the previous... Uh, no, 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 of course. Contestants. Of course yeah? not, of course not. Yeah. But say Mason asked a very good question. I want to see, when you say flat, do you mean the notes or just, you mean like his energy? Energy. Yeah, I, I, if, we, if he's saying energy, I agree with yeah. you. Yeah, energy, yeah. I feel you were a little tired, but you hit the notes. And you know something, your shawl is getting in the way of your recitation. It's when you say 17 years uh, reciting, mm -hmm. yani, I, I was expecting, mashallah, you will shatter the place. Uh, can we do one more? Little one, no, maybe two no, minutes. I think, no, no. I think that was... You did, no, no, you did your we, job. We you, did yeah. job. you did good. You did you good. Did you don't job. have to... And I think that's part of the problem. You're a little bit unsure of yourself. But I think you should be more uh, confident in yourself. You're a very good reciter. You came in with good preparation. And I want to just point out this. The one you did, the first one you did, Yeah. if I, if I recall cor co correctly, I think Sean and Rizwan did that as their first recitation. And it's interesting to see how when two people recited how they can feed off each other's energy and, and you didn't have that advantage, but you still were able to do well with that. And mashallah, very, very good. Very the good guy job. was hitting notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitting. Perfect, perfect. Like very, very good mashallah. notes. Say, Jalal, what do you think? Uh, Sayyid, you are a professional reciter. Uh, so I don't want to come again to the judges and stuff, but I'm just uh, telling you my ideas. You are a professional reciter. And the way you're reciting, it's actually professional. Another thing, it's maybe because you're a little bit tired, maybe. Uh, yeah, and I your got voice here is, last night. Your voice is dry a bit. And, your voice yeah. is dry a bit. It's mm -hmm. So it's not clear when you go to the higher pitch. Just those spots. But overall, your voice is very beautiful. Your voice is very strong. And you can maneuver to different pitches. So the dimension of your voice is okay. Mm -hmm. Mashallah. Last thoughts, Sayyid Amar? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I echo their words as well. You know, uh, you Alhamdulillah, you traveled out of Bolton to come down to London. Yeah. That's the beginning of your journey. The Quran does say travel in the earth. Definitely. It is it is part of spirituality to tra uh, travel in the earth. Look, my comfort zone may be London, but I've also lectured in Pakistan, in India. Yeah. So I was able to understand the different cultures and how they recite and the different methods of oratory and the different ways of reciting Masaib. So I do believe that while you probably are around comfort zone of friends even who may sometimes tell you, MashaAllah, you're amazing, mm -hmm. you're the best, there's none like you, you may have to jump in the deep end of getting to know people who don't know you and then giving their opinion. Fantastic. Uh, Mullah Ali, just one, one more thing yes. about the dryness of your voice. Drink plenty of water, especially mm -hmm. before your recitation. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, Karak Chai, make it a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bring one for me. Thank Bring you. one for me, please. On, Thank that, you. on that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> show your love for Sayyid Ali Reza. From my uh, let's just see what happens, you know, if I get given another chance, maybe prepare better. But Inshallah. so far, Alhamdulillah, I'm still happy. Alhamdulillah. What did you think about the comments from the judges? I think they, was, they are useful. So drink plenty of water and tea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed it. Good to see you, Sayyid. Best of luck. Once again, we thank the contestant Sayyid Ali Reza for his contribution. We'll find out if he has gone through to the next round towards the end of the show. The judges have decided on the top contestants that will be making it through to the next round. We're all anxious to find out, but before that, let's give a warm welcome to our amazing contestant. Round of applause, guys.
said Amar, the competition has been fierce today. But what's the verdict? Well, first and foremost, I must applaud uh, Mullah Rashid for his outstanding recital. I think it's one of the signs of the reappearance of the Imam when an African is reciting Urdu. Um, yeah. That's something I don't think we're going to witness too many times. Uh, but it's absolutely brilliant to see him continuing to do so well. And he's a lesson to all of you because he may not have won the Shia voice, but he continued to serve the Ahlul Bayt in whichever capacity he could. And if you do not win the Shia voice or you don't make it through, you can still continue to serve in your local communities. How can we forget young Hassanin and young Hanin with both of them showing their love for Imam Al Hussein السلام, and for Sayyidah Zainab السلام. Each and every one of you had your brilliant performances, but I will name the names of those who are victorious on this occasion, but all of you are victorious in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first name, and I think there's absolutely no doubt, and he has to in reality probably be the first name as he got the highest marks, Yawar Abbas Bukhari. Please step forward. Step forward. The second name, young, but also a great performance, Sayyid Ali Haydar Mahbubi. The third name, Sayyid Abrar Ali Bukhari. The fourth name, Sayyid Ali Raza. Please come forward, Sayyid Ali Raza. The fifth one was the difficult one because it was neck and neck between a number of you. MashaAllah Kareem, you done well with your recital. You were very good. There was others as well. Ali from Sweden also recited a wonderful recital. And we thank also our beloved Mullah Isa for coming all the way from Bahrain. Your recital was wonderful as well. And each of you continues to be a servant of Ahlul Bayt. We thank Sayyid Hadi as well in these difficult times for him coming forward and recital. So each and every one of you, very good recital. But the one who goes through is Mullah Isa. MashaAllah. Well <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you very, very much, Sayyid. Um, unfortunately, to the to the ones that didn't go through, as Sayyid Ammar mentioned, you know, you are continuing to be servants of the Ahl Bayt in your communities. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give a massive, massive round of applause to the audience as you go on stage. Hajj Isa, Mullah Isa, Fadr. You don't want to get to the semi-finals that quick. Wait a minute. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, you have your winners and the ones that go through to the semi-finals. <laughs> Any last words of encouragement to them, Said Ammar, as they go through? I think it's going to be a gripping semi-final. Continue to recite, continue to speak from your heart, and that will reach the people's hearts. And then keep listening to the advice. In the next round, of course, we pick for you what you're going to recite. So that's going to be very interesting to see how well you do with what these brilliant judges are going to pick for each and every one of you. Very well done. Once Ladies again. and gentlemen, the winners of this episode. I always thought that, you know, I was a good reciter, but obviously, definitely, this is more challenging. And it actually showed me that I need to work extra hard to be, be in the semi-final and uh, to, to do the best and just make it through to the maybe final.